<laughs> talent, talent, that's a word that always promises a lot more than it delivers, isn't it? Particularly, particularly when it's preceded by Britain's got, isn't it? <laughs> it, shouldn't be, it should be called freaks, isn't it? Britain's got freaks. <laughs> Britain's got desperate freaks who look like they've just come out of the sea. They're yeah, desperate freaks who really have left it so late in life to give them any chance of improving their surroundings or their lifestyle, you know. But they've got to a point now where they're standing in lederhosen, singing Bright Eyes, beating themselves over the head with a tray, <laughs> thinking, this will get me out of negative equity. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Susan Boyle, though. She's a very different case, isn't she? She's a very talented woman. And also, she's a very powerful weapon in the war against terrorism, Susan Boyle, yeah. Because a lot of young extremists are thinking twice about blowing themselves up. Now they know what a real virgin looks like. <laughs> now, the reason I don't like those, those, those shows like X Factor and, and Britain's Got Talent is the way they revel in the elimination process, the getting rid of. You know, it's all about the shedding of people. And it reminds me of school. You know, we used to pick football teams at school, and you'd all line up, and there'd be two captains. And they start calling the names out. And it'd always be the same at the end. There'd be me and a girl with a built-up shoe. <laughs> I'd hear that dreaded sound. Eleanor. Oh. <laughs> and if you're last, they don't even call your name out. They just go, come on, then. EasyJet, that's a bit misleading, isn't it? <laughs> EasyJet, that's... I mean, even I book a flight on EasyJet, I just think to myself, we might be getting on a plane, we might not. <laughs> it's more like bingo, really, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you know, I do, every time I get to, get to the checkout, it's just chaos, people flying everywhere, panicking, loads of women in pink fucking Stetsons, you think, oh, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I say, I don't know, I feel like a veal car for the chance, that's all I feel like. I might... <laughs> I might get out of this place, I might not, I don't know. It's not as bad as Ryanair, they're the worst, because they're always trying to save money, aren't they? So he's always trying to cut costs, you know. He's, he's, he's going to have passengers, he wants passengers standing up on planes. That's what he wants now. And also he wants to get rid of the co-pilot. So you just have one pilot on a flight, as if to say, he'll be all right. <laughs> you know the guy who runs Ryanair? Yeah, I've worked out what he's doing. Basically what he's doing, he's playing kaplunk with airline safety, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> Let's take this out. Oh, still works. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter. That sounds a lot nicer than it is, isn't it? Because Twitter, birds. Twitter. We like that. Shouldn't be called Twitter, should be. Should be called just drivel, splurge of shite, <laughs> bilge, just bollocks. It should be called bollocks. It... <laughs> Are you on bollocks? Yeah, I love bollocks, me. <laughs> I can't get enough bollocks in my life. I'm actually bollocking now as we speak. Yeah. Oh, some bollocks has just come through. Brilliant. More bollocks. Can't talk to you, so I'm sending some more bollocks back. <laughs> I can see why it's popular with celebrities, because it's perfect for people who can't shut the fuck up, <laughs> even when they're on their own. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm on my own. Don't like it. Thoughts are coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I imagine they do it. It's in a room going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a cafe having a panini. <laughs> well, waiting for it to cool down. LOL. <laughs> Hot and cheesy. Yum yum. <laughs> What's the matter with them? <laughs> it's like their heads are leaking, isn't it? <laughs> you know, if I was on Twitter, I'd have put something interesting on there. Just had my 17th wank of the day. <laughs> Always the best. <laughs> I'm off to the council tip to suck the gas out of old fridges. <laughs> and kill a seagull with a brick. <laughs> Toodaloo. <laughs> and the amazing thing is these people have followers, don't they? People follow people on Twitter, which I think is madness, you know? Like, Jesus had followers, didn't he? 
Jesus, I mean, that, maybe that's why he said so much. You know, imagine every time you turn around, there's 5,000 people going. <laughs> you can't go, oh yeah. <laughs> Just going for a bath. <laughs> and I was thinking about Twitter. You know, when birds Twitter, we like it, don't we? We like it. We like it, I suppose, because we don't really understand what they're saying. No. Because probably what they're saying is not very nice, is it? They're probably going, <laughs> your nest is shit. <laughs> You've got a shit nest, mate. <laughs> I've seen better nests than that in the bin. <laughs> they're not very funny birds. And you built your shit nest in a shit tree, haven't you? There's hardly leaves on it. Look at it, bark's all peeling off. You don't even look like a proper bird, do you? Your beak's too small for your head, your feathers are all over the place. You're a shit bird in a shit nest in a shit tree. <laughs> and when you leave your shitty nest, I'm going to fly over there, I'm going to ride your old lady. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm going to crash into your shitty nest, I'm going to shag your wife. Ah. <laughs> and that's bad news for you, buddy. You heard of bird flu. I got chicken syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not scientific, that, by the way. I haven't researched it. This is just guesswork. I'm just guessing this is what they say. I haven't spent any time researching it. Oh, Ethnic cleansing. That's another one, isn't it? Ethnic cleansing. <laughs> No, the first time I heard that, I didn't know what it was. I thought, it doesn't sound too bad, you know? I thought it sounded like someone's dry cleaned a poncho. You know, that's what I thought. <laughs> the reality of it is far too awful to contemplate, isn't it? It's, you know, I just wonder, why did they come up with this word, you know? I hadn't, I hadn't heard the phrase ethnic cleansing for a long time until I saw Nick Griffin, the BMP leader, when he was on Question Time, and he used it in some deranged capacity, because he's, he's a bit mental, isn't he? Yeah? He reckons the BMP aren't racist anymore. What are they then? A bit fussy. <laughs> But I was watching it when he was on there, and I thought, he's a very strange choice of leader for the BMP, isn't he, Nick Griffin? Very strange. Because if you're the leader of the BMP, effectively what you're saying is, I want more people in the country who look like me. And what he's got going on isn't a great look, is it? <laughs> I'd describe it as fire in Madame Tussauds. <laughs> he's got one shoulder up there, one down there, like that, hasn't he? Like that. He looks like a puppet, one of the strings has been cut. <laughs> He's got a bent nose, one eye going down the shops, the other one coming back with the change, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just guessing, but I reckon difficult birth. <laughs>